And cleared off the line, it's in this time, there's no argument. Celtic are in front, Paul Elliott takes the credit. Helped on by Arnott. Good play there by Ferguson. And a fine cross, the first time effort there, the chance for Arnott. Mullerwater back on level terms. Dougie Arnott has brought the game to life once again. Played in there by Collins. Clear headed over Rogan. Takes the rebound and puts Celtic in front. Space over to the right. Luke Nyholt takes possession from Motherwell. There's the header and the equaliser from Motherwell. It's Dougie Arnott again. Reaches tense last quarter. There's Kirk. Now O'Neill. Run made by Cusack as a fine effort. Colin O'Neill has scored for Motherwell. A goal of supreme quality. And Motherwell for the first time in the tie. And in the lead. Colin O'Neill thundering that shot home. What a turn up. It's his fourth goal of the season. Played inside there by Steve Kirk. He's one look up and drilled this into the top corner. Beyond Pat Bonner. Well, if Motherwell thought they were unlucky when Ian Ferguson's shot came off the upright on Wednesday, there was no mistake this time. Steve Kirk. That's a Donald chasing. And winning the ball from Dubcek. Back it goes to Kirk. That's a delightful ball to the far post. It was in. The referee has given the goal. Steve Kirk has scored again for Motherwell. The jubilation on the track. The Motherwell management team are out celebrating, but not any more than the players. Steve Kirk, the super sub, has done it again. Gum, chuggy, check. Sweeties, sausages, beer. Right, right let's go. Oh, it's not, <laughs> it's not. It's fantastic. First turn, how about that? Oh, that's how it froze, is it? Here we go, here, here we, we go, go, here we go. go. Hey guys, Gogsy here, and welcome to episode 59 of Around the Grounds. This is probably the earliest I've ever got up. To go to a Motherwell game, well, not the earliest I've got, but earliest I've actually left a house. To go to the game. What about you, Dad? Well, it's the earliest on a Saturday, yes, but when I lived in Orkney, uh, I used to have to go through to the game, I used to catch the boat at 10 o'clock in Strong Nest to Sunburn, and I got into Aberdeen at 8 o'clock in the morning. And usually, Motherwell support Peter Head Branch, which is Jim, <laughs> <laughs> Just used Jim. to meet me in Aberdeen, and we used to travel to Fir Park. And uh, enjoy your times then. So you, you may think I'm quite dedicated to go to the games every week. My dad tops it. We've also got a Hearts fan with us. <laughs> Say hello Jack. Hello, I am a Jambo. A happy Jambo from that famous victory last night against uh, Aberdeen. He was at Tyne Castle last night. <laughs> Fantastic win for Hearts. Also means that it's more impossible for Motherwell to catch Hearts now. So, <laughs> don't know if it was a good result for Motherwell yet. There is a... Stop here! Stop here! Stop here! Alright, uh, cheers. A transportation to the game. Come on the way. I'll open it for you. Good morning.
Shots. Shots fired. Predictions, Dad. What do you think? I think I think I'm going to put my scarf on. And I, 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 I think we're going to have to wait to find out if we're in the top six today. I'm predicting 0-2. Right, I'll see you later. Enjoy What's the prediction then? Come on. I'm going to say a one-all draw. I've picked up my ticket for the game. And I've already seen the Aye. 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 Craig, okay, what's your prediction for the day? Fuck Celtic. That's what I predict. Fuck Celtic. We're getting interviewed here. <laughs> Fuck Celtic. Scumbags. <laughs> From Gomez comes inside too easy in Marvin Johnson. Honestly, why would you do that 18 yards from goal? Confirm it was Lee Griffiths who missed the penalty. Lee Griffiths has actually missed three penalties this season. Griffiths steps up and he's put it way, way wide. <laughs>
Johansson could slide Tierney in here. Big chance, surely. And Lee Griffiths is the man. <laughs> Sees off Johansson with ease. Now up against Lustig and Brown. Johnson. It's Maltz. Yes! 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 It's a wonderful little give and go from Andrews with Moult. Popped it inside. There's a one-two. He's on line with Charlie McGrew. And as the ball's played forward, is he on line with Moult? It's a really tight call here, but seeing as the assistant referee on the far side is not in line with the play, he shouldn't really be able to make a decision here because, it, because it's a really difficult call. You have to be exactly in line with play to make, to make sure that you're absolutely certain about a decision. As a referee trainee, I think that the goal should stand. He's not in the right place to make a decision and seeing as you've got to give the attackers the benefit of the doubt, it should have been a goal. Should be one all. It might well be, you know. And it's a tight one. Cadden chasing. Oh, he's got the better of Tierney.
Rogic, they miss across, Tierney. Griffiths! after uh, the game so I could be reunited with my dad after such 90 minutes of torment and of course the Celtic bus just had to turn up and now I'm not, I'm not allowed in because stewards are wankers. I hate relying on other results, it's really really shit. The last thing I want to see after getting beat by Celtic is the Celtic team coming out uh, to go into the bus with the big cheesers on just can't be bothered so while well, I've been waiting uh, I just uh, saw James McFadden and thanked him again for the interview that he let me do with him yeah I told him about 20,000 views which is amazing and also uh, he said, right, I'm going to get on the road, go to the MC later. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. Quickly in the boardroom, and <laughs> this, this is the... What cups are? That's the Scottish Cup. That's not the no, Scottish Cup, that's some Wally Mahmoud no, thing. No, it's not. Where's the Scottish Cup? Well, that's a replica that they got in 1991. Alright. Right there. Just a wee cheeky interview, folks, eh? So, so Dad, after your man on the match performance, how do you think the team played? Well, I think we played really, really well today. I thought uh, the man on the back, Ripley, had a great game. He, he, he was superb. And I was really, really pleased with the way Re Lee Griffiths ran up and struck that penalty. I thought he had precision and style as it went past the post. Right. <laughs> and what do you think, Jack? <laughs> I, I thought it was a very, very entertaining game, being a heart of the Lothian fan. Um, the, and unfortunately, the on... But on the play today, um, the Celtic were the better team mm. on the long run, but I really, really feel for Ripley because uh, um, that ball slipping through his hands and into the net, the, latter, the latter lay to make it 2-1. I feel for him badly. Mm. Wait, wait a minute. Is it? Ah, it is. Here he comes now, the new signing, he's ready for action, not ready to bump his head, but here he comes, it's Gogsy 99 out the Fur Park Tunnel, incredible scenes, <laughs> amazing. There's the boy cutting the grass, <laughs> Celtic support is vociferous as ever. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, it's yes. fantastic stadium. It looks like everybody's gone home. Uh, Ugh, well. No one here to see the new signing. But it looks like top six. Looking like looking it. Looking like it. Right. Like other results elsewhere. They're looking very pretty, folks. Okay, here we have number 10, 
for Phil O'Donnell, brave as a lion, yeah. as was said by Eileen McCoy in the Scottish Cup final of 1991, mm-hmm. when he headed that ball into the net, nearly 25 years ago from now, just below we have Jamie Dolan, who yeah. sadly passed away of a heart attack whilst out running, same as his dad did in, in Bathgate area, he gave everything he could for Motherwell, and he played for Dundee United, yeah. with David, David Cooper, who died the day my nephew and your cousin Craig was born, mm-hmm. the same day I was 30, fantastic footballer, he should have played more often for Scotland, but what a dream that was to see him play at Fir Park. A great 50,000 spent by Tommy McLean. Do you, do you think we should go around every Cooper sign in Fife and just write David before it? Well, it doesn't spell correctly, but yeah, we, know. we know how it is. And with Paul McGrillan, who tried so hard for us, he played really well, sadly passed away in 2009. He played for us and he played for Falkirk. He was part of the deal that took him and Stevie Kirk to Falkirk and, and we got Eddie May, which still to this day is an astounding piece of management by Ali McLeish. I still cannot believe he did that. <laughs> but there we go. What? No, Miss no. you all. <laughs> and here's a wee tour yeah, of the dressing room. He's done well, actually. Obviously it's very stylish compared to the likes of AC Milan and Inter Milan. This is probably where the likes of Conor Ripley is sat. And, and uh, someone's obviously left their shoes here. I wonder whose shoes these are. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, and there's sandals and Cora Ripley's spare gloves, obviously. Shower. Look, look, it's a midfield battle. Is this the home? Is this the home? Is this the home one? I was in here. The last time I was in here was 1978. Wow. Before Motherwell played Celtic. And Motherwell 2, Celtic 1, with two goals from, would you believe, Peter Maranello. <laughs> there you go. There's no change. Aye. I, I was in here when I was mascot when, they, unfortunately, we got beat 3-2 by Hibs. Look at that. But That's just wrong, isn't it? So obviously <laughs> this is, this is uh, some of the players, oh. Lord Manus. There's, there's Mr. McDonald's one. <laughs> 77, 77, 77 people. <laughs> I don't know who's taking it. It's Dundee's pulled one back. Ah, that doesn't matter. Why, no. I know what it says. It's fucking good. Where's where? Where we are. 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 Where we as you said, this the is the fourth team in this football video. Football team in my life, champions 2014-2015. So we were the champions 2014-2015. I don't mind that. I'll tell him this on, 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 online, Gordon, take this. Yeah? My brother Mark, as you know, uh, when him and I used to go to uh, soccer to cheer on Motherwell in the late 80s and 90s, he used to wear underpants and the team's colours of who we were playing. He did. So you can bring that up. We'll ask him then when we're away at Celtic Park. We'll reveal your underwear. See if he's gone. I bet he's grown out, I bet he's grown out of it, but he used to be the underwear. So. It was very difficult to get ones when we were playing Dundee United away, but he managed it, and I was well impressed when he was a student. He managed it. I think they're actually ladies' underwear, but still, he wore them. Yeah, that's <laughs> up to you. If that's what you like. Yeah. Really. So you're going to get murdered by your brother, by the way, Andy. <laughs> when, it gets, great, when it gets back. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Alan. Thanks no, well, good to see you. Thank Thank you. Cheers. What the best of the jambos? Oh, what a game last night. <laughs> He's still going on about it. <laughs> and as you can see here, so yeah, uh, someone that's a Hearts fan, be there, won this for me as well, signed Motherwell Football, because he said uh, the first goal would be in the 44th minute of the game. This is obviously Phil Donald's photo. And 2007-2008 season, Georgia Samaras bumped his head while he walked through this through this door. Massive stuff for you there. So what time is it? It's just after four o'clock I would say. No it's not. Is it? No, it's uh, been half time. It's 
quarter to five. Quarter to five. We're just about at the end of all the football season. Yeah. And I think Mother will probably be in the top six. Yes. I even though we got pumped. Oh. Oh. We cross it and I'll head it into the bank. <laughs> yes, I've got more mix here. So you want more So, we've got the chain. Why are the chain drop? I've got nine chicken like nuggets and the flash flash well, you're in charge of, of travel arrangers at the I'm in charge of travel arrangers. Do you, think, do you think that's a wise idea? <laughs> yes! I've been with them before. Both of these are senses, so. You'll find them just jump up there. I make sure you got the tickets, Jack. I've got the tickets. If not, I'll Give me another little bake out. When back in Bells Hill, uh, it's <laughs> it's about quarter past six. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's it's almost seven o'clock. We don't my time. care. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna get the next train to end. We've got to meet Linda on the train. <laughs> God, it's like. It's like, it's like looking after a couple of wings. I never feel a star. Right, what's the next train here in Gogsy? Uh, the next train's uh, in about 10 minutes for Lanark. Oh, what? 10 minutes? You have to go to Lanark and change at Lanark or not? No, no. Don't worry. Is 10 it? minutes? The, the, second, the second one's at 20 past Hello, 7. Hello, lady, how are you? Oh, it's Jack. Wilson, where are you? Wilson! 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 Oh no, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fight for a table. Left, left, left. Go left. <laughs> we have finally touched the home soil. Gordon? Yes? We're back in Cuba. Are we really? We're back in Cuba. Are we nearly there yet? We're nearly there, Gordon. <laughs> Where are we going now? <laughs> the parsonage. <laughs> parsonage. Parsonage. Do you really need more alcohol, Jack? We are going to the parsonage for more alcohol, yes. That's what I don't know this. Give it to some bastards. Alright. <laughs> or maybe sell it to the bastards. Well, as a can of coke, you should maybe sniff it. Oh! Right, I'm gonna hit that. I'm well, gonna, what, what's it? There's a I'm, car. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run into a big Mercedes. So now I've got a few stats to present to you. It's 20 to 7 in the morning, and I've only just got up. 
got scones in the oven. And uh, so some of the stats that I've got. This was the third time uh, I've ever seen the 2-1 scoreline go to the away team in that fixture. It's been in Celtic's favour twice, Motherwell once. Also, it was the first ever time I'd been to a, a Motherwell game with a Hearts fan. Also, it was the first ever time I won a signed Motherwell football. Not too shabby. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below if you want more of the snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogs89. I bet you wish you were. I'll see you, I'll see you later guys. Take care.